Hi everyone, welcome to your reading. This is for Libras for the week of the 13th to the 19th of March. Cards are already out. Um, card for the theme of the week is uh, King of Pentacles. Stamina and tenacity and abundance. This is, you know, leading by example. He rolls his sleeves up, gets on with it. Look what I can create, look what I can make. He's got a hammer in his hand. And it's it's about rolling your old sleeves up, your own sleeves up and making your own destiny. Love, love, love to see that. Uh, present position we've got the emperor the emperor is the amalgamation of all four kings so as you'd imagine it's it's a very well placed card for you know order and control and not in a kind of not in a controlling way it's just about you know today we're going to do this so we need to be on the road by three o'clock it's you know everyone's saying let's go to the seaside let's go to the beach when they get there they go oh we didn't bring a shelter we haven't got money for ice creams we haven't brought any swimwear and then the emperor just goes got it got it got it you know those and again the emperor is not a male or a female or whatever gender you want to call yourself it's just that really strong powerful masculine energy so you have you know me and my wife's great at this we get to the beach and, and i'll go oh i've forgotten that this 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 and she goes no no i've got it i've got a bag with all the stuff already packed you know she's like really on the case so that's what it is this week you're really on the case present expectation you kind of expect it to calm down a little bit um i'm a libra as well i'm looking at that thing yeah that's not going to happen um work seems very busy at the moment but it's saying you know rest solace sometimes kick back Universe is going to give you a minor blessing, and of the all the sword cards, this is four of swords. Of all the sword cards, this is one of the gentler, quieter ones. Um, so yeah, fantastic. I, well, I'll take whatever the universe gives me. Thank you very much. Um, in the unexpected position, as you'd expect, you've got the High Priestess, one of my favourite cards, and one of my favourite cards in this deck. I think it's just beautiful. Mariana Trench in the background behind her there, this spot varnish. That's a topographic map of the Mariana Trench. High Priestess is, is, if you could describe her in one word, it would be intuition. It's about just going with your gut. You know, you go, hmm, it doesn't feel right to, I don't know, take a two-hour lunch, or it doesn't feel right to go on a date with this person, or it doesn't feel right to spend money this month. You know, it, it, whatever it is, there's just a little niggle in the back of your mind or out the corner of your eye. Go with it. Absolutely go with it. Did your instinct ever let you down? I don't think so. And then we've got a really interesting week next week. We've got um both tens so you've got next week itself and then the next one two three weeks ten of pentacles i think you need to realize how good a position you're in at the moment libra you're in a really solid foundational generational position of stability abundance and wealth and by wealth it doesn't necessarily mean you know some people would say that in order to be wealthy they would need this much in the bank and that could be some people say I just need 200 quid to last me to the end of the month. Other people go, I need at least 2 million in the bank before I'm cut. And someone else say, I need 6, I need 20. I don't know what the numbers are. You know in your own head the amount of money that you think you need to live on um, or to live the lifestyle that you want. Um, and sometimes we can get quite an inflated sense of that. If I only had 7 million, really? That's a lot of money. What are you going to do with 7 million? Give 5 million to all your friends and relatives? In which case, do you only need two? Do you need two? You know, how big a house do you need? Um, but I'm not speaking for you. I'm just saying that, and I'm as guilty of it as anybody else. Sometimes I kind of go, oh, woe is me. I'm in this situation. This situation looks pretty damn good to me. And then the next one, two, three weeks, very definitely the end of something. Absolutely end of something. Normally a king with ten swords in his back. This card tends to soften it off a little more, bit more and say, look at all the, the, the endings here. Look at all this death. It's all done, gone, over with. But hope still remains. And hope is the biggest thing on this picture. You know, the day dawns. It looks to me like a sunset rather than a sunrise. Um, so And maybe it is. Maybe at the end of the day, after everything's all kicked off, you have got this this card which says, do you know what? You're still there. You're still hanging on in. And tomorrow is another day. Let's clarify these for us, shall we? So we have the star. The star is on top of the emperor. The star card is um, dream big. You know, if you don't know what your dreams are, how can you aim for them? Put some detail on that as well. So, you know, people go, I want a big house in the country. Which country? Where? What does it look like? How much does it cost? How do you pay for it? You know, um, are, you, are you coming into money from relatives or are you going to invent something? You've got a fantastic idea. I, I don't know what you're thinking of, but it's it's a card of you you really i was talking to someone at work the other day and he's he's leaving the company and i said why are you leaving and he said because this is where i want to be 
and I can't get there in the time frame if I stay here. And he's got this plan all mapped out. In the next three years, he wants to have this title. In the next five years, he wants to be in this position. I just thought this is fantastic. You know, what a great... What a great attitude to have. That is definitely Emperor Energy. You know, he knows exactly where he wants to be and by when. And and this and he spoke to the company about it and they said, no, we can't offer you that. So there's a handshake and walking away quite happily. Love that. Love it. So that kind of energy, be specific about what your dreams are and how you're going to attend to them and get to them. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Wowee. OK, that's that's really good to see. Um Ace of Pentacles, new start, and again, a start of your own making. This is rolling your own sleeves up. It's not Ace of Swords energy, which is the light bulb moment. And the easiest way I can describe the, the two Aces, Ace of Swords would be, I've got a garden at the back. We're in a new build house, and it's just lawn. I want, I want a nice garden at the back. Ace of Swords would go, right, let's get a garden designer in and look at the money and how we're going to pay for it. Ace of Pentacles would go, a couple of mates of mine are interested in garden design, let's talk to them, let's get the spades and shovels out and roll our sleeves up and create this garden. It's not going to be as professional and as finished as the Ace of Swords one, but it's going to cost 20 grand less. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is roll your sleeves up, make your own destiny, which is what he is. He's making his own destiny and he's already doing it, he's already proving it. Emperor again, so you're doubling down on the Emperor very definitely, you, you, the problem with Libra, and I think the problem with a lot of people really, is this mirroring thing. You don't see yourself the way other people do. You don't see yourself as, as tall, as beautiful, as strong, as wealthy, as, as funny, as, as accomplished as other people. And it's really hard to step out of that. It's a very immodest thing to do as well. But, you know, rather than saying Adam works at the bakery... And, and he works all hours and he's come up with this fantastic new flavoured artisan range and it's selling like bread. Something like the best thing since sliced bread. If you took Adam out of it and you go, well, that's me and I'm not saying anything, keep my head down. But if you said, there's a man at a bakery and he's doing this, this and this, you all go, wow, that's amazing. And then at the end of it, you go, that's you, Adam. And you go, oh, yeah, so it is. So it's very hard to see ourselves as other people see us. But they're seeing you in this emperor mode and that's unexpected for you. They're seeing you as this leader. You lead by example. You know, they go, oh, I don't suppose anyone knows how to. And you just go, yeah, I do. And it, it's almost off the cuff. You know it that well. You go, yeah, I know how to solve this. Great, great energy. Really good to see that. Three of Pentacles on top of... Uh, so next week is um, a card of Synergy. It's working together with other people. And it's it's the synergy of one plus one plus one makes four. But it's also this lovely energy of... Um, uh, each each person who's doing their job is being admired by the other people and the other people are really it's all kind of building is the only way i can describe it so in a more traditional read you've got the architect the uh, monk who's having the church built and the stonemason so the architect's really pleased because his vision's turning into reality the monk's really pleased because he's getting the church that he's always wanted and the stonemason's getting work for life so they're all benefiting. All these three people are benefiting. And there's this lovely overlapping. Well, that was your idea. No, it was your idea. No, it was your idea. Really nice to see this all coming together. Very much teamwork, very much working together. If you say, well, I've just set up a business. I'm working on my own. You'd be surprised how many other people are out there waiting to go. Do you know what, Adam the Baker, you're really on this. You know, there's plenty of support out there for you as well. There is uh, three of cups. Um, three of Cups is just is exactly what I was saying then. I was all, I don't like to say it. I was hoping the Three of Cups come out. It's like, well, of course you would. I'm a bit concerned that this candle's starting to set fire to that box there. Is there smoke on there? Yeah, there is. It's getting a lot of smoke on there. Just going to push that back out of the way a little bit. It's damaging my cards, that. Um, where were we? Oh, yes, the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is the Sisterhood card. It is a card of celebration. It's a card of coming together. It's a card of your your network joyfully helping each other out you know this isn't you demanding that somebody stay late this is somebody going why don't we all i know what it is why don't you all stay late till six o'clock rather than one of you working late till nine o'clock and the other two actually offering that up rather than you having to ask them you know i'm to chase people for this people love and adore and worship you and want to be with you and want to you to have a happy life like they're having you know there's a real joyful celebratory week here Love it, love it, love it. Libra, you're in for a great week. A very surprising one, and you are incredibly powerful. Have a good one. I'll see you next week for the same. Take care.